Welcome back to another edition of Tea and Toys. Okay, this is my Salamandroid from All Caps Comics. Now there's a story, just a little thing I remember growing up as a kid and thinking Cyberfrog was something completely different in a dentist's waiting room. I'll explain more about that in a minute. But I did not expect this box to be this big. So let's have a quick look. I've got a key here. Get it open. I know a lot of you love a bit of Ethan. Here we are, wow. This is very well packed, packaged. I wonder the email in regards to this. I was like, who the hell is Andrea Van Skyver? Ethan's wife. So there we go. Now, close it for me. I know, I have been fortunate enough to been invited on Ethan's show once, getting us plebs to come in. On his show, just us guests. So what do we get, what do we get? Oh, this thing is huge. You know what, when I ordered this, I did not expect it to be this big. This is absolutely huge. That is one enormous figurine that I did not expect. Some fantastic artwork from Ethan on the side there. Top of the box, absolutely amazing. Well, let's not wait. Let's get Salamandroid open. Well, here's Salamandroid in all his glory in the box. You can see a little bit of a paint on the inside there and a bit of a dent. Not the end of the world. He's probably going to live outside his box for a good long while. Haven't received the Cyber Frog because that's coming with the J Lee cover that I did order. I wasn't going to get into the Cyber Frog. I wasn't going to get into the whole Cyber Frog thing. But obviously, recent history, looking into Cyber Frog. Like the connection that, it's a small connection. You know, it's one of those things that you, something that locks in your brain at the age of like, what? How old have I been? 15, 16, 17? Uh, being in a dentist's waiting room. And sometimes you get the magazines in there. You get the magazines. And sometimes they have a few comic books. Now what I thought was a Battletoads comic. Something similar to the Turtles type thing. And there was this book. And, and this is the spread that it was kind of open on. It had no front cover, it was beaten up and torn. And it was this picture here. I didn't read the book in The Dentist. I just literally flicked through the pages, looked at the pictures and what, what were left of the pages and the really cool artwork on the inside. Now I thought it was like a link to Battletoads or something like that. But lo and behold, it was a pet project by an artist known as Ethan Van Skyver. And then some years later, I was recommended a book Green Lantern Rebirth. And usually when it comes to comic books being recommended to me, I was very much stuck in the mud. No, I want my Exiles. I want my Ultimate X-Men at that point. And I was just pushed. It's like, no, 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 try, try Green Lantern. And the only thing Green Lantern, up until that point, literally, was the original DC versus Marvel crossover trade paperback that I had. And I think it was that Carl Rayner's Green Lantern versus the Silver Surfer. That was the only thing Green Lantern I ever even knew about at that point. And obviously then we got the, got the Justice League cartoon some, some years later around that point. So I read the Rebirth book. Absolutely fantastic. It started my love for the Green Lantern, the Green Lantern Corps. Obviously it's not the same now because they keep adding extra things in there that just, just aren't very good. But the era of that, Jeff Senior and Ethan were doing of Green Lantern was, it was just fantastic. It, it drew me in. I, I thoroughly and really enjoyed it. And that, like I said, it started my love for Green Lantern. There was this drama online uh, with a writer basically calling out an artist called uh, Jay Lee. Uh, so I sort of follow, followed the story a little bit. And I thought, you know, go, go screw yourself, mate. So I found the Cyber Frog 2 Indiegogo. I didn't get Blood Honey. I didn't get Blood Honey. So I'm getting the second one. Because of that issue, I thought, I thought I'm not having this. I, I, I have to sort of support Jay Lee in having done this cover for somebody that other comic, so-called comic pros don't like. And they don't really know why they don't like him. They're just being told not to like him. So part of that, I thought, yeah, I'm gonna buy this great big Salamandroid uh, PVC figurine. Salamandroid mini figurine. Mini, look at the size of it. 
barely fits on the screen. Like, where's... Let's get something up. What have got? Yeah, Phantom action figure from NECA. That is how big it is. Let's pan that out. Absolutely huge. Let's show off, some, let's show off the unique artwork that has been on it. Oh, uh, yeah. There he is with Cyberfrog. Now that's the actual size difference between Cyberfrog and Salamandroid. Look at the size of him. Now, if you are falling at all, oh, he's high, he's 11 foot tall. Ah, I love this. Oh, I love a bio. Somebody knows that I love a bio, and that is what I like. But it's like slowly following it and getting into it and reading these old issues online, a Cyberfrog. It's a little bit different, something that I wouldn't usually go for. Like I said, I've gone in for issue two of the Cyber Frog, the new Cyber Frog stuff. See what it's like fighting the old giant wasps. The giant alien wasps, in fact. Oh, I'll work on the back. Now, to complete all the uh, amphibian type creatures, there's salamanders and frogs, obviously amphibians. I would love it if Ethan can come up with, I don't know, Techno Toad or something. What's it? Oh, Newt's as well. We got, uh, I don't know about Nutilator. I don't know, just two, like, build the ranks of these um, amphibian mech type characters. Oh, hell yeah, I'm, I'm all in for that. Another cool thing on his um, Indiegogo is you, if you pay, it's five thousand dollars. And so I would love, to, I'd love to be able to be in it. But you could be in the book. You could be in the book. That's something that I would love to try to be doing, but no, that that was not going to happen. I just don't have that kind of money. Enough of that, let's have a look at the top as well. Look at that, he's just full of this amazing splash artwork all over the box. And where to put a salamandroid? I have no idea, I have nothing that goes with it. Wait until the cyber frog arrives, so let's get him open. A bit of artwork on the inside as well, it's all like, um, like a wasp nest on the inside. Let's have a little look. He's salving, trenching his way through. The uh, Vespus nest. Just the detail gone into it. Just such amazing boxes. That's one of those things. I don't keep boxes, so it's going to be pretty hard not to get rid of it. <laughs> it's just like box side to box side of amazing artwork. Absolutely amazing artwork. And you know the guy's improved. I think he did this in his early twenties, a teenage early twenties. And it's just improved and improved and improved over the years. And I, I must say, it's really good. I'm going to put it there. And it, all the stuff and some other stuff. There's Sal. I'm trying to fit him in. This little diddly desk that I've got. Let's get rid of this plastic prison. Okay, wow. So here he is, out of the box in all his glory. Now this thing is huge. Let's get the phantom back down again. Is there anything close by? Look at that. Enormous. Like a, more like a three and three quarter inch type figure. This might be the size of the cyber frog. Or it might be a little bit smaller. I can't remember from the pictures I've seen. But let's just move out. Death's head, phantom. Okay, he's got a bit of a black ding there on his head. That's a bit of a shame. That's a bit of a shame. But never mind. Not the end of the world. It's just the detail on that. Absolutely fantastic. And my favourite colour being blue. This thing was just had to be bought. What a length of the tail is huge. Absolutely. I can't even fit it on. Whoop. Cannot even fit it on. Look at that. Tail just whips around and I think it's got a whoop. Yeah, I'm breaking the damn thing now. Detail on it. A bit of a, oh, some black ding there. We might be able to get that off. Right. Looks like there's some paint that's splodged on there. Which is a shame, but not to worry. I'm not gonna complain and grumble at Ethan for this. It, from what I understand, the customer service is brilliant as well. 
with anything that you get from him. If you haven't received it, all you do is email, and they'll try and dispatch you another one, or at least something in its place. You know, they do so much stuff now, like collector's cards and so on and so forth. And then I'll support it where I can. And if I like Cyberfrog Wreck Planet, I might buy some more. I might buy some more Cyberfrog stuff. Like I said, it's not the thing that I'm into. I wanted to support it where I could. Due to the whole Jay Lee situation. I was getting this Cyberfrog PVC. I thought, well, I've got to get the Salam Android as well. i got to get it. i got to get it. I'm not, not going to pick up like the Heather Swains and those type of characters. I might get some of the baddies. If they do them, if they do them, like if these things don't sell, then he doesn't do them. But one cool thing is that Ethan showed off some Cyberfrog action figures. One that's based on the 90s look, and one that's now based on the more up to date version from Red Planet Stroke Blood Honey. Now, I'm only interested in picking up the two Cyberfrogs. I'm not interested in the Wasp, I'm not interested in the Heather Swain, but I might get the two Cyberfrogs. I don't want them, but a lot of people are asking for all oh, this articulation, that articulation. Too much might spoil the figure. That is my opinion on that. I know other people will disagree, but too much articulation can ruin action figures. There's so much more can go wrong with it. But this is just basic PVC. All you can do is move the tail around. Fantastic colors. Like I said, a few little black dings on mine here and there, like one on the head and one on the chest. And one thing I did notice also on the Salam Android, so, if you're moving the tail about, the paint used along the tail it seems to peel off. You can see a bit peeling off right there as I'm talking, that bit shaking. The paint used on the, this like rubbery plastic along the tail uh, will just flake off and come off. Here, look. Like that. Bit of black paint there. A bit more there. A bit more. See? A bit better to see there. Another black paint that just seems to peel off when you're moving the tail. So if you don't want your Salamandroid to lose paint along the tail, you can see some of the sections completely paint free now from where I've been moving it around. You can see that there. Paint coming off completely there in that section. Which is a shame, that is a shame. And hopefully that's one thing if Ethan is using the same factory for future Cyberfrog toy products, to note that this rubbery plastic and this paint don't go hand in hand. But all in all, I'm still happy with it. I'm still happy. Yes, there are a few issues with mine. Yours may not have the same. Yours might have completely different paint applications along the tail. I don't think it will do, but it might do. Obviously, got a bit of black here on the head, black on the chest, and that is the paint which has flaked off the tail. So that's something to note and something for maybe Ethan to address as well when people are getting these out of the boxes. And you can see like, what would the paint come off on the white desk here? Okay, let's talk a bit about Rainbow Brew. Old 80s and 90s characters with a twist, with a twist. So Rainbow Brew is like a twist on the whole words of Rainbow Bright, and I think you've got alternate Care Bears, alternate My Little Ponies. You've got uh, different like Strawberry Shortcake characters, and I want to see more of this kind of stuff. Like, because Rainbow Brute will be fighting like the what are they called, the emo grizzlies in the book, and I want to see him fight like people from the Get Along Gang, um, maybe a few glow worms. Some of those older, more obscure, uh, traditional girls' toy line characters. Like, I want to see Mad Moose. I want to see Montgomery Moose sort of done as he's calling Mad uh, Mad Moose. He called Bingo Beaver Bad Beaver. Uh, Zippy the Cat. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea what we'd call him. Zap Cat, maybe. Uh, just make the get along gang like the, the not get along gang or something. That's just. If, if he can put more of that stuff in there, I'm all for it. And I'm definitely going to pick up. The Rainbow Brute book, and if he does, if he, if he could do an action figure, I don't know if there's any legal entanglements between Rainbow Bright and Rainbow Brute. That he won't be able to do certain things. I, I honestly don't know. But if they to do an action figure of Rainbow Brute, I'm gonna definitely put that in between the two Cyber Frogs, 100%. Well, love him or hate him, this is a product from All Cap Comics. 
And yeah, if you want to get it, I think you can still get them on the Indiegogo page. And if not, I think there's an eBay shop as well. So yeah, don't forget to love, like, and subscribe, and comment the hell out of this. Say goodbye to Salamandra.